Hello everybody. I was just kind of doing a quick update. It's wet. It's raining. I've been working in the greenhouse today. Thought I would show the progress on our new greenhouse going up. Dad's got the back wall almost done. It looks like just the peak of it. Clear, well, if I get my finger in the right spot. Clear back there needs done. Everything else looks done. It needs to trim a little bit, but it started raining. We've got the fans in. I started digging for the water line, but it's been muddy. Uh, we do have the red tin that we're going to put on this end to get it started. It's all framed, ready to go. All of our tables are in there. We just got to carry all the cement blocks in. I do have some plowed garden back there uh, where we had got everything harvested out. I went ahead and plowed it here a week or so ago. The day I forgot my phone so I couldn't get good video of it. Um, we got a bunch of it done, but the way it's looking... Puddles, lots of puddles. Dad dumped another three and a half inches out of the rain gauge today. Um, it's wet. <laughs> so we're not getting a whole lot accomplished outside. We're working inside. Um, trying to get some stuff caught up. Our big festival is this weekend. It'll be good, but... The turkeys are getting big. <laughs> but that's the main thing I got going on. I was working in the greenhouse. Thought I'd do a quick update. Show what we got going on. Even though it's yucky out, we're still getting progress. Um, I guess I can pan through our big pile of greenhouse stuff. The plastic's the only thing left to go on. We've got our big sand pile over there, our tires. The big canopy down there is our corn pool, all of our farm equipment, etc. And then we have a, bunch, a rope maze where we put a bunch of electric fence posts in and put string in it and made a path through it. All kinds of stuff going on. Been trying to go out and pick pumpkins. I got 225 that go out on Friday. But can't do a whole lot. But yeah, I got most of this garden plowed up. I've got the far patch where the gourds are because I couldn't mow it off yet. These close weeds here is where the fall squash was. The acorns and butternuts and buttercups and all that stuff. Uh, it is, uh, it needs mowed off. We had got everything picked out of it, but it hasn't been fit to do it. And if you come out here, you can see the wet. We actually got water running out down the dead furrow, but yeah, it's looking a little yucky out. Got kind of a pond down there on that end. But there you go. Just a quick update. It's wet. I just heard on the news a little bit ago that in the last 30 days, 16 of them have rained. So just good news thoughts. <laughs> but there you go. Have a happy and a wonderful and talk to you guys later. Buddy. I'm going to tack this on to the one I filmed yesterday about the water and the rain. It's not sunny out, but it's not raining today, so we'll take that for a win. And I'm out here in the pumpkin patch with the car trailer picking up pumpkins. I went through the other day and cut them and put them in piles so I knew I could drive out here. So I'm out here picking them up. Uh, I just have a big pair of Lopper pruners, uh, the longer the better because I'm bending over less. I've learned that one. So we buy some fairly long pruners every year or every couple years when I need to replace them. And I just make sure they're long because that way I can hold the handle or, or hold the end of the handles and uh, it's somewhere down there between my feet. Not quite to the ground, but just enough that it's pretty close and that way I can come out here and cut everything. And we've got the Case 1175 hooked to the trailer. I'll kind of show it real quick. It's just got the, we put the ball on the draw bar. And then we have the sides on the trailer. And if I can see what I'm doing. And we put the sides on the trailer uh, for our hay rides.
Let me tip it down. We just stick them in the stake hole sides and then we put bales on it all the way back. But I've got them off so that way I can haul some more pumpkins. I've got a few. Um, but yeah, that's all we're doing. I'm gonna tack this on. I've got 225 of them to go to a church group uh, tomorrow at noon. So I'm gonna spend the day out here doing this. We were gonna hook it up to the pickup or the Tahoe, but we thought it was plenty muddy. We just leave it hooked to the tractor. We know the tractor's gonna leave some tracks out here, but we're not gonna get stuck. So that's a win-win. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, if I film anything else, I'll tack this on to the end and I'll make an ending for this when I'm done. But I figured yesterday's was, it was just raining, it was wet. Oh, I know dad got the, or dad helped or I helped a little bit, but dad did most of it because I was working in the greenhouse. But he got the tin on the greenhouse. So we have the tin on the one side and the polycarb all finished up on the other side yesterday. Um, he just needs to cut the tin to length around the arch, but we screwed it up first. And that way it could cut the arch and it'd be right because it's way easier than trying to figure it out. We just screw it up and then we use the rafter as the template to cut it. So then it's perfect. And then we'll throw the trim on it and then we're ready actually for plastic sometime if it's ever fit. So there's something else I can add on to the end of this and maybe I'll take a couple videos of trailer loads of pumpkins because I know I've got probably, I think there's at least two trailer loads cut right now and I probably have four more to cut, probably, guessing. Um, but there you go, just another day. I work. Uh, I know somebody had said something about, I for, I'm horrible with names, I'll say that right now. Uh, somebody had said something about picking up or showing how we harvest apples and stuff. Uh, I still got some to do, or actually I got quite a bit, but we leave some of the trees. If you notice in the background, some of the trees still have quite a bit of apples on them. Uh, but we have pick your own people come out and pick uh, with their families. So we always save some of the closer trees. Uh, we know most of, or a lot of the apples end up on the ground, but it's one of them necessary evils. We want people to experience the fun of coming out and picking up their own apples. So what else do you do? I mean, you gotta have it both ways. Uh, but I should explain my equipment I've got out here. A pair of leather gloves and my headphones. Cause it gets kind of boring out here. Uh, I just pick the pumpkins up since they're all cut and throw them on the trailer. Uh, and then we take them up and sell them. Um, part of these rotten ones, I know this one here, has a mouse hole in it. Um, part of them we take and give to the cow and the pony and donkey. Uh, when we had pigs uh, last year, we just fed them all to the pigs, or an awful lot of them. My big cow T-Bone, he loved pumpkins. Uh, he actually went crazy over him. He kept getting out of the fence. That's why there is a string of barbed wire around the top of the fence. Because he kept getting out because he wanted to go eat the pumpkins. At least he didn't have worms. So, But there, here's the end of this segment. And I'll either get some pictures to throw in or uh, we'll get some something else. But I know it's supposed to rain again tomorrow late and which would be Friday and Saturday. Then Sunday's supposed to turn nice, but I don't know, it's muddy enough now. The days are getting slow. Uh, today's a high of 60 here in Southwest Iowa. Uh, I know some of you guys are probably cooking out there on the East Coast and to the South. I follow a couple other people on Instagram and stuff that, it sounds like they're pretty hot and dry down there in places and I heard on the news, I don't remember if I said that yesterday or not, that in the last 30 days, 16 of them have rained. So, just think about that. And I know we're somewhere, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches. Rivers back up, clear bank full, I mean full. Uh, almost come out. I know they had some street flooding here, this big town that's close to Atlantic. Uh, they had some street flooding the other night, but... There you go, just a quick update, uh, what I'm doing today. And if we look, the sun may come out yet, which we won't complain, but it's still only a high of 60. So it's gonna be chilly compared to them 90 degree days here a couple days ago with 100% humidity. So <laughs> always fun, but 
Talk to you guys here in a little bit. Second load of pumpkins for the day. There's a couple beautiful ones in there. There's quite a few beautiful ones. But look at how big that is. Spider in my hand. And then I've got a couple up there with stems that are probably a foot and a half tall. This one great big one right there. But there we go. Here's this pile. And then we have more here, more up there, clear up there, around our tree, more here, more up in here, our beekeeper guy, and more here, and over that way. Oh, and I forgot, we got some out there too, and all the way around this sign over there. So, yeah, I've been busy today. And trailer load number three. And you can see some of these are stacked up pretty good. We've got a couple great big ones, like that big old hoss right there. That's two pumpkins stacked up beside it and it's still taller. And this big old guy here. And a whole bunch of other ones. And some of these are stacked almost three or four tall we got our warty ones some of our flat ones our tandy you can see the one big stem uh, but there we go load number three and I've got I don't know a couple more loads cut free and dad's out there working on the end of the greenhouse I could hear this screw gun going must be putting the last of them in Instead of having me drive clear out there. Oh, you can hear him out there. He's got the tin pretty well all up. Working on getting the door cut out. And he's going to work on cutting the arch in the front. Ooh, it don't take much to move. But it'll look really cool when it's done. Look really nice. Here's our barrel cart train with the bathtub on the back. Got everything sitting in the driveway so we could mow the other day before it rained. Now we got to put everything back. So, there you go. That's what I got accomplished today. You guys be good. Talk to you later. Have a good one.